Are you a husband and wife in ministry? And you're asking the critical question, how is other people doing ministry effectively? This is the video for you. Let's. What's going on family? You guys are so amazing. Here on this channel, our mission is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time. On today, I have two amazing guests. We're talking about five keys to a healthy partnership in ministry. Let's go. One of the five things that I think is detrimental in, that, in, in ministry and in marriage that we do and we implement a lot is communication. Not only communication with each other, but you also have to have communication with God. Um, you have to commune with God. Um, you have to commune with your spouse. And, you know, respecting you as the, the shepherd of the church and the bishop of the church, we have to have a great communication, one, as a marriage, to be able to communicate effectively in ministry. So communication, to me, is the foundation of a lot of things because you can connect together, but if you don't communicate how how can the connection work? Yeah, yeah, and 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 that is a strong point, and I thank you for that communication point. I um, I, I also would say that one principle that we laid down, um, I believe it's time. Right. Um, I, I believe it's time. I I I believe in the, in the African American church um, that we we don't really teach that um, time away for the spouse, uh, for the for the pastor and the first lady is um, is, is very and vital important it's, it's to the church. Yeah. Because because um, if if we don't have time, you know, um, we, we're showing the church that everything is involved with just here and what are we showing other married couples. That's right. Um, That's what right. what a lot of people don't know is that when you know when we're uh, have new partners come in or we're sharing with the couples is that we tell them y'all y'all need to take i don't want to see you for take two time weeks. together you right know, i don't want to see you for two weeks i, right. I you know if y'all haven't been on a vacation we're trying to come to you said you know have y'all even been somewhere like get half time it's fine the church is going to be all right that's right and also yeah. as um bishop and elder williams our spiritual parents yeah. have implemented a long time ago within us have a date night do yes, something yes. for yourself that gets away from everything. A lot of times, couples just aren't in tune with each other. Right. So, you know, that um, just reconnection once a week to where you don't have the phones ringing, the kids, the ministry, the right. everything else, that is vital. And one other thing that I love um, about you with me and how we incorporate it in ministry is that you just let me be me. <laughs> you yeah, let me yeah. be me and you don't box me in from being the traditional right. first lady. Right. Um, you know, I always have... I've always been quirky. I've always been different. And 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 you have always not allowed me, but it's like um, you let me be me. Well, you have a, you have an assignment. You know, um, your, your assignment goes far beyond even when we got married. Um, your assignment and our assignment just now partners together, and now it shows um, uh, people what partnership is all about. That is the thing that we have to realize. Um, teaching people. In the church about covenant and partnership mm -hmm. so yeah to, to, for you to be you and me allow you to be you it's just an alignment with what God made you to be and so you your best version of you compliments me my best version right. I pray my best right. version of me oh, yeah. compliments you and our best version of each other compliments the ministry right and so so we preach without even saying a word right you know we That's you know good. we have to do that every week because uh, words they take down write down notes but images, that's why social media now is all big on images. Right, Because right. images and video and reels is what people take. And so now when they go home, they say, one thing we do know is our Bishop and First Lady is really giving us an example of what marriage is all about. And we haven't even said a word uh, yeah. to them. So I think that's a key thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. And also, you know, we as women, and you know me, I'm big on communication. And the other C is commitment. Right, right. Because you have to be committed. And you know, I always tell you, I'm all in. Right. You, you know, I trust you to handle me 
to handle ministry, to handle our life, our family. I'm all in with you. <laughs> I trust you, you know, um, and, and I give you the respect and the space and authority to, you know, to take care of us, to take care of me. I trust you with that. I'm committed to you because I know your character. I know your life. And a lot of times, you know, um, um, people, like people that church hop and all, they're not committed to anything. And you have to be committed to God. You have right, to be committed right, to right. the things that we do. So when we, when, when God called you to ministry, we was, we had to talk. Right. Are we going to do this thing? Right, you know, right. we had to be committed to it. Right. We had to be all in to do it. So to me, commitment is a huge thing also. Now that wow, that's powerful. I don't even know how I'm gonna close on that one. <laughs> um, so I would say one other point um, is transparency. Absolutely. Um, uh, um, you, you, Absolutely. You have to you have to show transparency to a to a point. To a you know, point. you can't you can't tell everybody your whole entire story. Some people can't yeah. handle. You yeah, know, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We can, some people can't handle, handle some of the things we, we would like to share. Right, right, right. But transparency um, pulls down the guard of who you're ministering to. Because you you, you got to realize that, um, and you say it all the time, uh, you got to meet people where they are. Meet them where they are. Um, and so at one point in my ministry, I was I was just running just so streamlined running to, I you know, somebody mentioned to me, it's like, Bishop, you're, you're so awesome, but, you know, it's hard to relate because they say, they saw me as being superhuman. Right. And, and that's not reality. Right, right, and right. And so when we dial it back and they see even some of the flaws, not showing everything, but even some, right. how we got through our flaws, when we ministered, scripture is like that. How do you take a person from this level and get them to this level? Well, you know, we are the example of that. We wasn't always here. We was at here one time. Right. So we don't mind being transparent right. and then letting the church know when you're talking to other partners that come in or people that you don't know and their lifestyle may be different, their backgrounds may be different. Right. You got to let them know you won't always say it. That's right. You you didn't have it all together. So um, I really believe transparency is uh, key, you know, in building and helping through ministry. Mm -hmm.